Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Tuesday, August 23rd, 2016. The Tarot card for today is the Queen of Wands. Now, first let's talk about what's been going on, right? Mars left shadow yesterday. The sun entered Virgo yesterday. Things are changing, my friends. Indeed, another energy shift. So... The Queen of Wands. What's she all about? Well, let's talk about wands first. You know, fire and change, right? And you see her holding her staff, her wand. She's more like, I want to say, the fearless leader type. Okay? Someone who's not afraid to go for what they want. You know, the fire of change burns within her. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. This is the energy that you need right now. What we're, what we're leading up to here is very positive. And at this point, you need that vision. Even if you're not sure exactly how it's all going to turn out, you need that vision to keep you going. A vision for change. You also need to be a little bit adaptable, I believe, because, you know, you know that plan A, plan B, like to roll with everything because the universe is going to kind of show you like a little zigzagging maybe along the way to get you to where you need to be but most definitely you will be getting there and all of this change that's coming about for you it's going to allow you to push forward not just push forward kind of like push off do you know what i'm saying because we've been seeing where there's past issues starting to fall by the wayside, bit by bit. You know, I don't think anyone had just one, because life wouldn't implode with just one issue. It's sort of a, a compilation of things that made things happen. So, you know, you're like checking them off your list and keep going in a forward direction. So, you know, that past, like I said, is not nipping at your heels so much anymore. And I really do believe that you'll see over the course of this week and with each passing week that things are changing. You've already seen changes that came in with the full moon of August 18th, which was a penumbral lunar eclipse in Aquarius. And it's just going to keep on happening, people. Mercury will go retrograde on the 30th. Mercury keeps everything in flux. And you never know until you get to the other side what's really going to happen. Because things change during Mercury retrograde. Okay? You still have two more eclipses. We're getting closer to the annular solar eclipse on September the 1st, which is in Virgo. There's a lot of things happening. But by the time we get to the one on September 16th, which is a penumbral lunar eclipse in Pisces, kind of winding some things up see last year when you had that pisces eclipse it kind of just was like the brick wall it was at the last degree of pisces okay you ran into that brick wall and it said no more you're done here you have to find a way around this wall find a new direction find a new path and that's what you've been doing all this time, is struggling to find that new path. And indeed, you have changed direction. So, as you've done that, I think when you get to that September 16th mark, in that week, you're going to see that you're really making progress. This energy here today is here to help you do it. Uh, I have a feeling before the week is out, you might manage to close a door on something maybe even open a new one. So keep up with the dailies, you know, listen to the weekly. Make sure you get over on Patreon and listen to the lengthy tarot guidances I did for the full moon, the new moon, for your own sun sign. They're all available there. And, you know, just kind of watch it day by day because this is a story and it's playing out. So, Understanding the story is not necessarily easy, but kind of flowing with it is a good idea because it will help get you to the other side. This is the kind of queen here. She just keeps on trucking. You know, no matter what happens, 
her fire does not go out. So this is how you have to be. Don't let any little obstacles, because they're all little obstacles now, right? You've gotten rid of so many, and you've made so much progress. So do not let any little obstacles get in your way. You might encounter a couple this week coming up. Use that Queen of Wands energy and just say, I've got this. I can do this. I can make it to October. No problem. I want to thank you all for listening, and I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.